Chapter 7 Why Odds Ratio In this chapter, we will see why odds ratio is important in logistic regression. As we can see, the odds ratio is a little complicated. And so, some of you may think that it is simpler to divide a percentage of positives in group A by the percentage of positives in group B. The ratio of the risk of an event in one group versus the risk of an event in the other group is called relative risk or risk ratio. Relative risk represents the ratio of the probability of occurrence itself, while the odds ratio represents the ratio of the probability of not occurring to the probability of occurring. Relative risk approaches the odds ratio when the probability of occurrence is low, but departs from the odds ratio when the probability of occurrence is high. Odds ratio is important in case control studies. A case control study is a study that uses a group of individuals with a specific outcome and a group of individuals without that outcome to try to determine the current outcome from the past event or causes. This past event or cause is called exposure. In other words, a case control study examined whether the exposure had an effect on the occurrence of the outcome. The study design is particularly useful when the outcome is relatively rare or when exploring causal relationship leading up to the outcome under study. Let's illustrate a case control study with an example of employee churn prediction, which predicts which employees did and did not leave their jobs. Let's assume that the study is based on the hypothesis that those who are promoted are less likely to churn, and those who are not promoted are more likely to churn. Here, churn is the outcome of interest, and promotion is an exposure that could affect that outcome. The design of this study will be as follows. First, a case will be selected. A case is a participant for whom the outcome of interest in the study occurs. In the case of employee churn, the case group is identified as those employees who have left the company within a certain time period. On the other hand, participants for whom the outcome of research interest has not occurred are referred to as controls. In this case, employees who did not churn with the same time period will be selected as the control group. To eliminate the influence of factors other than promotion, the control group will be selected from employees with similar job titles, ages, length of service, and other characteristics as the case group. Information on the promotions will then be collected for both groups of employees. The researcher then compares the presence of absence of promotions between employees who churn and who did not churn to assess the impact of promotions on employee churn. Odds ratios will be calculated to analyze how much the odds of employees who have promoted differ from those who are not promoted in terms of the odds of churn. If the results show that employees who are promoted have 0.5 times greater odds of churn than those who are not promoted, that is, the odds ratio equals 0.5, this would suggest that employees who are promoted were less likely to leave than those who are not promoted. In such case control studies, relative risk cannot be calculated directly. Therefore, odds ratio are generally used in case control studies as a measure for comparison. Relative risk compares the risk of an outcome occurring between a group that received an exposure and a group that did not. 
In this example, we compare the risk of churn between promoted employees and those who are not promoted. However, because case control studies select cases and controls based on the occurrence of an outcome, the incidence of the outcome in the population as a whole cannot be directly estimated. This is the main reason why relative risk cannot be obtained. However, you may think that we can statistically estimate the incidence of the outcome in the overall population if we randomly sampled participants and then divided them into case and control groups. So, why do case control studies select cases and controls based on the occurrence of outcomes? The reason for selecting cases and controls based on the occurrence of outcomes in case control studies are primarily based on the following objectives and limitations. Case control studies are designed to efficiently identify risk factors for outcomes with particularly low incidence. By comparing individuals in whom the outcome has already occurred with those in whom it has not, the association between the presence or absence of risk factors and the outcome can be efficiently tested. When the incidence of an outcome is very low, random sampling and division into case and control groups make it very difficult to collect enough cases with the outcome. This greatly reduces the efficiency of the study and may require extensive sampling. Therefore, in case control studies, the relative risk cannot be calculated directly because the cases and controls are selected after the outcome has occurred. Instead, the odds ratio can be used to effectively assess the association between exposure and outcome.